Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Alright, William's still dead, by the way. Apparently. Yeah, he's dead. Look, he's yeah. missing out on something that's actually not terrible. Yeah, this is no, hey. Boy, hey, so welcome to the start of a new series until we wait for Power Rangers Dino Fury to come back, right? We're yeah, support where if, we have a, if we and have when. Space fillers now, right? Yeah. All right. Welcome to the show that we've been trying to record for like I don't know, like six months now. Ever since this shit got announced. We, yeah. Even, ever <laughs> since, ever since the last time that Dino Fury was off, but that was different because it wasn't between seasons. It was just mm -hmm. had a it pause for no for fucking reason. reason. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But don't worry. Now that Dino Fury is over and we can record this, and the fact that all these episodes are now legally able to be watched now, we're fine, right? Right, and hopefully yeah. they don't get they don't get hit it again like the first time. Well, the problem when we originally tried to record this. Well, the problem is that like, uh, thanks to the power of uh, Gundam Info, they're all available uh, legally through uh, mm -hmm. the pa and fully subtitled thanks to the power of closed yeah. captions. But yeah. uh, Gundam Info, uh, the YouTube channel, has a cycling uh, library, and who knows mm -hmm. when that? I don't know. For certain, when they're going to cycle it out. So God help mm -hmm. us if this fucking shit goes away. But at yeah, least with actual subtitles provided, if it'll be a lot easier to fucking find it again if it goes off. Yeah, don't worry. There, oh, don't worry. We have was it? We have to what record record what six episodes of this series, right? So as long as nothing happens within the next month and a half, right? We should to be this series. We should be fine, right? And as yeah. long as we keep the consistent channel schedule of yep. uploading a video, uh -huh. right? So we one, two, fine. three, four. Right. Well, in four weeks, we hit the anniversary of January sixth. Okay. So, <laughs> so, you know, it'll be actually it'll be January fifth. But we uh -huh. all know but, that. Who knows? Yeah, hey, maybe William will be back by then. Yeah, he he'll be he's back. Gonna be... Again, Yam's just missing some fun shit. It Listen, yeah. hey, hey, he had to here's, here's my prediction. Shit. Now he's missing here's, good here's stuff, my prediction. So. William, will, William will be miraculously back in time for January 6th. Mm hmm. Right, look, it's his yeah. favorite. It's, yeah. Look, it's his favorite day of, the, of, of, of January, right? Yeah. Right? Okay, hold on. Wow, okay. it must there be his birthday. Please tell me. Yeah. Okay, but, uh, go. Go hey, now, hey, Sweet. guess what? This is our Sweet. weekly unnamed new fucking podcast series where we talk about Gundam Build Real, where I, Tariq, a person with years of knowledge, pent so up much. about Gundam series and the Gundam model kits and Gunpla, Debatably too much. take everyone, <laughs> everyone on a ride that I've been dying to take them on. You, Austin, mm -hmm. that's you, you little Magikarp fuck, and you, girlfriend Molly, that's you, and as soon as William gets back, I'll take oh, him. Yeah. No, and you're, hey, hey, you're, well, according to what you got he curves. said, he should be free by the end of December, all right? All right, and, well, that still leaves time for Gunpla. Why, to learn Why? How is to he moving back from China? A, a, an air condition. Oh, right. boy. Is he in New Zealand? Like, Jesus. Uh, Anyways, well, that's great, so we but... So we all sit here and... Yeah, welcome to episode one, shit. Reunion. I'm gonna start this off, uh... I'm going to rename this, based off of what you mm -hmm. said. Hmm. I'm gonna name this episode Granddaddy Gundam. Sure. Sure. Fine. Uh, Feel free to yell about that later. I get so look, alright, let's let's start off with some background about this this franchise. Not Gundam specifically. Mm -hmm. Gundam's okay, been around okay. for fucking forty years. Get yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Gundam <laughs> yeah. build series, sub series within Gundam. So mm -hmm. like in two thousand thirteen, I wanna say. Two thousand thirteen or four uh, it might have been... 14, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, so, Bandai had this wacky idea of, hey, you know those plastic models that everybody loves? Those Gundam plastic models? Gunpla? Hey, mm -hmm. what we if we just... Of... That we made that are based off of anime? What if we made an anime based off the model kits that are based off of the anime? Mm -hmm. And everyone went, why would you do that? And at the same time, Gundam Reconquista and G came out, and everybody looked yeah, at yeah. Reconquista and G, and fucking Gundam build... Uh, fighters and went Gundam Bill Fighters was better. I'm sorry. Why did we ever doubt you? They have mm -hmm. since made three subsequent fucking anime a sequel to Gundam Bill Fighters 
and then right. and then build yeah. divers, which isn't right. technically part of build fighters yeah. for no apparent reason. It has no. It is not connected. It operates in an entirely different reality. And build divers has fucking. And then there's build divers re rise, which is their sequel series, which has fucking furry planet, uh, planet real fucking aliens, right? And a fucking like isekai shit thing happening. All of that happening. Yeah, yeah. That that's all happening. Fucking Gundam build fighters Literally, and we're build divers crossing worlds. So, mm -hmm. I mean. The first Gundam Build Fighters had actual fucking aliens too, because the like uh, one of the protagonist kids, Kate was a prince from another planet. Because the main plot well, was, as far as we know, he just appeared out of nowhere. No, he was from another planet. That was established, <laughs> and then and then they the whole uh, plot of it was, oh uh, yeah, some thief stole, got the the fa the royal family big ass mine or jewel and stole a big ass fucking rock from there and teleported to earth and then used that to fucking create an industry on earth that made model kits f like be puppeted and for yeah. particles. all of this all of this just to be like yeah this is a fucking series for yeah, uh, this, tiny plastic this, men is big this is a series about uh, customizing gunpla bottles and what if they yep. fought each other and it just was so it just went in every single one of the series went absolutely out of its way to be ridiculous. Fast forward mm -hmm. to now, I know where this goes. 2020, yeah. or was it? Yep, yep. Yeah, they go, hey, what? we're gonna make a live action Gundam build series. Yep, and the it's just first free. ever live action Gundam series. Yeah, it the first just... ever. Not any of the other attempts at a Gundam live action series. Mm -hmm. None of that take, part. Take that, Netflix. Not even Netflix. I'm trying to. Th well, there was another one that like. Oh, yeah, it was fuck. like Gundam Survivor or some N shit. No, it, uh, Gundam Savior. Yes, that's yeah, the, the G Savior. Movie that no yeah, one liked. the one that everyone went. Mm, this sucks, but I kind of am okay with some of the models. Some Is of it the better or Gundams. Worse than the racism in G Gundam. <laughs> uh, well, fun fact. Part of the cycling library of Gundam of G Gundam Info right now is G Gundam is there for all your racism needs. Oh, so we didn't have to. <laughs> we didn't. Do extra we searches we didn't have to do extra searches. We just should have waited waiting. until December. That's okay. I, I don't want to. Yeah, okay. uh, but also Wait, it only so also the probably would have been a real actual kit. Can I have it? The I'm mermaid so gun. The it. mermaid Gundam does exist, but it. I tell myself every night that it can't hurt me, so I, I prefer that you. Because it makes me angry. Uh, it is a man and a fish. It is a mermaid. No, yeah. it's not. It it's is a, a mermaid. Little, just robot man inside of a fish. No, it's a mermaid. That's not what mermaids are. I think that's what mermaids are. It's, they it called it a mermaid like Gundam. It's in its mouth. Fucking, this is my hoodie. I'm wearing a fish. What, <laughs> just because old Greg, like... Are you yeah. telling me that old Greg isn't a real mermaid? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, but yeah, so... Fight me. So anyway, here we are. Anyways, here we are. Here's... This, this is what we've come to. Real. Fucking... Goddamn... Gundam Build Real. A show that, much to my surprise, much to, I think, everyone's surprise, actually, actually has some fucking, like, legs to it. Much like the mermaid Gundam, with its <laughs> legs sticking it out of the fish. It you know. Um... So, what? I love that we immediately basically start with just video diaries of some children after, mm -hmm. like, an example of how. Yeah, so, the most interesting thing like, that I can say right world. off the bat that they show when they're, like, giving us the, oh, yeah, this is what yeah, Gunpla welcome, battles are. Welcome to the Gundam fighting world. We're just yeah. straight up saying, yeah, hey, welcome to the Gundam And that's only where, the first, like, where 20 Gundam seconds. Gundam exists and then... fight. It's literally like Yu-Gi-Oh, right? How in the yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh anime? Hey, Duel Monster exists. Why yeah. Check children out the have Battle better... City tournament. Yeah. Welcome to... Yeah. Dude, I, I mean... I think these children have better use of an airbrush than I have at, like, a quarter span of life. I mean... This not... You don't know what these are children's hands doing it. These okay. are, the I ones doing this doing, stuff. The one doing doing okay, this stuff are adults. Okay. I'm sure that these are the real adults. Okay. Those so kids drew on that shit. Fucking sorry. that granddaddy Gundam with a marker. Did they though? <laughs> I mean, they had one person for each individual part of the, the team. There's way too many. There's way insane. too many fucking oh people God. in this team. All right. 
So but also we concluded that this is basically just a different uh, swim related franchise. Right. No, this is free. This show is just free. Mm-hmm. It's just free. Like it's yeah. It, the plot is a bunch of kids get we, back together in high school. We meet our, like, super mm-hmm. excited, like, small... Yeah. Look, look, we gotta get the band back, back together, together yeah. right, to build we, the Gundam. Like, you have your personality. It just works down to, like, right. personality level, so, too. So, first, the first thing I want to say, though, about this that is interesting in the way that none of the Gundam build series are consistent between each other. And that's mm-hmm. fucking frustrating. Also, they stole the yeah. Transformers font for oh, Gunpla absolutely. Battle. I just now realized that. At the, oh, at the minute mark, it's 100% just the Transformers logo. Just like, that's the that's Transformers. Just, oh, that's the text font to use That's just the tech. Yeah. Like, if you look at tra- any Transformers yeah, movie. Yeah, look at it right now. Yeah, that's just it's Transformers. Pretty, it's pretty, yeah. Copy my homework, but make it look a yeah. little different. Yeah, but Hasbro has Transformers, not Bandai. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Um, although I think they do have some No, there's a Hasbro Bandai, because that's, uh, Haro's. Har- the Haros are Hasbro Bandai. I swear to God, they that are. can't be right. Cause Haro is a is a Gundam. Yeah, but like, okay, Property. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, anyways. so so the real beginning. We're in some mountainous city, well, oceanside. So, but okay. So Gundam Build Fighters, the first build series, right? Said, all right, you know how we do this? We got a magic space rock. You get into this virtual, like, hexagon, and it makes a column around you, and you get little orbs, and like a, and like a heads-up display, and you fucking pilot it that way. That's how you, that is how Gunpla Battle is done. And for two series, 50 episodes, they went, this is how you do Gunpla Battle. And everybody went, okay, sure, fuck it, we're not, we're not watching this with brains anyway. Gun to Bill Divers, they went, virtual reality. That's what the kids like. Hey, you put your model kit... Both... All all three, the only thing that's consistent is that you put your Gundam down, your Gunpla down, as a fucking amiibo. And it goes, hey, uh, we register your Gundam. You get to use your Gundam. And then, oh. But Gundam Build so Divers... Basically, are yeah. you saying that Metabot walks so Gundam can run? I would say that Super Robo uh, mm-hmm. walked so that... So that Gundam could get confused about how which direction it wants to walk in, uh, mm-hmm. but like, uh, fucking oh, Jesus. And there's also Mega Man Battle Network. Oh god. Yeah, oh right, fuck. Sorry. Oh, there's so many. Anyway, so there was virtual reality in Build Divers, which yeah. was like, okay, well, I don't know why you didn't start off with this. I feel like this makes a lot more sense. Uh, but okay, sure. And now we're at Gundam Build Real, which is somehow the, the like, in-between, where they've come to terms with, no, no, so what we do is, we overlay giant projections with drones is throughout cool. real places in yeah. the, in the country. Really mis- you can say they mysterial this. Yeah, just 100%, we overlay, like, not AR, not only you can see it, but people in the town can see it. They happening just around go them. On projections. Yeah. God, I hope no confused grandmas go, oh, oh, they're, they're back! They're back! Like, oh, the war you is back! Wake up and there's something falling at you and you start to. Yeah, but don't worry, this is a world like, where everybody worry, likes it's... Gundam, so it's fine, right? Apparently. I mean, this is. That's, the, that's I feel the world. Like Gundam is like everyone's, I guess, football in America. Uh, sort of thing. It's almost it, everyone's cool with it, I guess, except for like there are probably some people listen, who are all, just definitely not and are just like, oh shit, there's a Gundam battle today. Not leaving my house now. I oh. would, I would say all we're missing is a Gundam build series where they have to solve crimes using uh, gunpla yeah, to like. Fun. Except <laughs> that's literally the plot of the first one. Oh. That's the job that Sayori's dad has. Yeah. He goes around as like an officiator right. and like cracking down on people and going, "Hey, that's illegal gunpla activity. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm jacking in." And he fucking that's, that's and that's the reason why his father is conveniently absent for ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the fucking show. But he is. But his milf. But his milf mother is there for everybody to make. 
everybody oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Bandai well, well, to make to make horniness of about her. of like technically okay. kids shows with horny ass milf moms. Listen, listen, listen. They know who also mm. is watching it, and also you got to start them young. You get also, you get you. It's a wonder how people got so horny about Lady Dimitrescu. You'd think. Wow, really? Right. Um, but the fun thing about this is, might be a twenty-five minute show at best. But uh, you got a lot to say, huh? Listen. Gundam is a franchise where uh, I get to be in a, it gets to be in a future where people can be racist against each other, not for the color of their skin, not for uh, the uh, whether or not they where they come from. Well, actually, definitely no, where they definitely come from. Where they definitely come where from. they come from. Um, but the where they come from is about whether or not they're on Earth or they're in space, and whether or not they have super psychic powers of any varying degree or form. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and giant fucking robots that they can pilot, and sometimes their robots are alive, sometimes their robots aren't alive. Most, usually they shouldn't be alive. Whether or not they're actually alive uh, is up to interpretation. Psychoframe is a very weird uh, technology, and it doesn't make sense literally to the inventors of it. Anyway, mm-hmm. so, welcome to free Gundam edition. Uh, yeah. Because we're literally also on a port town. We're on a on a seaside town, little town, with a, a group of friends, yeah, a group of friends that are getting yeah. back together after breaking up for a bit from, from middle school. From middle, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Anime, school, back anime, to anime protagonist here. That's a lot, all right. Yeah, when you go from the high school protagonist to the from, from the middle school protagonist to the high school protagonist. All right, a lot's changed. All right. Okay, but like no, no, we they went from elementary school. Children, I assume they're it, fucking children. Yeah, they, they were literally look like they're look, fucking like nine. Those years are old. the only people that can pilot giant robots, kids. Nope, they're that's the only Anyways, people that can. But before we even get there, we start on the fucking bus, and yeah, uh, we're all three. We're three of our. None of them are technically supposed to be our main character. We but don't know the, who this is. I want the Haro. I want the giant Haro. I want to put things in it. Yeah, that's a, I mean that's a real purchasable I want to thing. Put things in it. So what things? I don't know. Put things. The, we we start off with we start off with a pop quiz for me because um hey none of the fucking text is subtitled for some reason for most of it and I guess who has to do the subtitling? I almost had a fucking panic attack reading okay. this because I was like okay I can read these kids' names all right fine fine yeah. Hey, hero, talk to me. And then immediately, the kid with that says, uh, uh, the fucking programmer, true. I went, fuck, 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 I don't remember what that one is. Oh, God, oh, God. Uh, uh, that's, that's definitely the, it's the, that's the kanji for fat, um, uh, or dog, or I don't know, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's Kentaro. His name is Kentaro. Mm-hmm. I get that now. I understand. And that's Nakamaru. I get it. Right. Okay. But I like Nakamaru. Boy. Uh yeah, Nakamaru gets a gets the glow up. Uh Kentaro. So mean to him. Like, why did they just go, Wow, you got skinny? Yeah. I mean, that's and, been another, like, and Kentaro story. Meanwhile, Kentaro grew up to be All a uh, a fucking Columbine threat. Um <laughs> yeah. because the kid with glasses, one hundred percent even on the bus has the most dead expression like he's going to fucking murder all of his friends and the bus driver and any girl that he ke- collects the skin on. Like, um... But then this wall of fucking text shows up. Yeah. And I went, Oh God! Oh no! I haven't had to do this in so long! Why are you doing this to me? No! And then I listened to it and I went, Oh, it's just saying what he's saying. Okay, thank God. Oh, thank God, Jesus. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. So There's some detailed intel for some children, though. Like, but yeah. Um, like, for children who look like they're seven years old, fuck, that's some detailed info. Listen, when you're... But I guess they're 11? When you start on the oh, gunpla I mean, train yeah. young, you get real smart fast. Mm-hmm. That's the power of a new right, type. Right. They're all new types. They're all new types? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. That's why... And I'm gonna start my rant now. Okay. They're using the goddamn Granddaddy Gundam, the OG. Yeah. I get it, right? You need to promote the like the icon. You need something iconic to promote your fucking Gundam builds. Your something that everybody's gonna recognize. This is the Gundam. Yeah. Sure. Fine. First of all, 
the OG Gundam statue in Odaiba isn't even up anymore. It's the unicorn. It's been the unicorn for like five fucking years. Mm -hmm. Second, if you're going into battle with a fucking model kit and the construction of your model kit is relevant to like how well it performs, don't use the fucking Older oldest, literally the oldest Gundam fucking possible. Holy mm -hmm. fucking shit. These first three episodes, I'm just, spoiler alert, they get their fucking asses kicked every single time. Yeah. What, you, yeah. what a surprise! What a surprise! I don't know how this fucking happened. Mm -hmm. I do. I know exactly how this fucking happened. You, you keep, didn't practice. They you, never practiced in a before. Forget practicing. You know what? You don't... Hey. No, no, no protagonist Gundam pilot ever practiced. Except for the ones that did, and that were trained child soldiers. And uh, also the ones that have repressed memories of being trained. Uh, even And they don't really know why they're so good at it, but there's actually a reason why they're so good no at it. No one did. Except for the ones who did. Actually, but actually... Anyways, we just pulled out some fucking sun kissed on some... The one thing I would say is, Amuro, the original first pilot didn't actually train. He was literally reading the fucking guidebook in the mobile suit. That and then he happened. And then he killed a man. I mean, I and then like he killed a man. Threw Mikazuki in the bed. Yeah, like, but that was... go. Yeah, but that was like they plugged him in and he just and he just let the machine take over It fucking hooked up to his back and he was like, oh, con like <laughs> the, no need to the spirit of Barbatos guide me. You. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. Amaro literally used a uh, used an instruction guide to fucking murder a man and ex make a... Ex Make the Zaku explode, which then made a hole in the colony, and then killed thousands of people. Um, anyway, right, right. But anyway, um, so yeah. Some, like, then they accident, yeah, they accidentally it. dropped Sunny D in the fucking paint uh, cup, which yeah. don't ever do that. I right. don't even think it was a paint cup. I thought there were just storm parts in there. Well, they had. Uh, was I it, thought they just had. It seemed like there was other water. Maybe, maybe I thought it was. I they might have been letting parts. Parts yeah, off. don't have, don't have, here's, hey, Don't have hey. five cups out and right. parts in one of them when you're gonna drink a beverage? Starting, starting, Maybe? starting Tariq's gunpla tips. Starting Tariq's okay. gunpla building tips within Sorry, this. Sorry, that started the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that was, that was a, that oh, was Gundam is history. This is gunpla tips. Gundam, gunpla tips number one. If you're gonna be drinking something while you're painting something, don't mm -hmm. use identical cups. Even yeah. if you don't use identical cups, tip number sometimes two. your brain will be yeah. confused and you will drink the wrong one. Tip line. number two, put those cups on opposite sides of you so that when you're mm -hmm. reaching, you're never going to passively reach for a water-like brush cup that's full of washed-off paint or your liquor. Even yeah. while drunk, I've never sipped paint, so... Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Hey, is that With also a, a tip? That don't is drink paint while building gunpla. Tip number three: Don't drink the paint. That's the general. That's just actually that's tip number one of of just life. Don't drink paint. That's not a, yeah. that doesn't go on the gunpla tips. That should be already there. Mm. Um, okay. But yeah. You can. Uh, tip number. Can tip number three: um, Going for speed in the uh, way that you can put your model kit together is pretty fucking stupid because you're gonna fuck up and you're gonna like wind up rushing and pushing shit in. Um, Tip number four, don't pour orange juice on your model kit. You stupid fucking kid. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's part of getting your cups confused. Hey. Also, can we talk about how adorable all these dumb children are? Listen, they know what they're into. They're doing it. That's a kick-ass phone that can just like, project okay, shit. They literally, that's absolutely like a projector system uh, attached to it. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, these kids are pretty adorable, like... And they know what they're doing. And apparently they're in sixth grade, which would make them, like, 11 or 12. Which doesn't make sense, because they look like they're fucking, like, Look, nine. they're... Maybe. Look, it's all of the friends hanging out and watching Gundam like I've always never had. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, just... Right. No, I have you. You're not my number one. Austin, obviously, the, uh, another friend we we both have a mutual who is also named Austin would never support your Gundam dreams. Uh, he has never cared as much as I do, and he doesn't, and he refuses to. Uh, he continues to gaslight me and say. I, yeah, I haven't watched that, and then he'll go, yeah, I know what happens, and I go, well, di which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> and then he'll go, yeah, I don't care about Gundam. 
But I like G Gundam. Fuck you, I'll stab you mm -hmm. in the throat. You have two yeah. other loves in your life. Gundam and Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not true. Oh, sorry, food. That's... Food, Gundam, and Yu-Gi-Oh. First of all, everybody oh, has to eat. What about alcohol? Don't forget everybody alcohol, has to eat. Molly. That's Look, also I said important. The other. Right? Right, don't forget about Treat's uh, main main love, alcohol, right? Um, alcohol does not alcohol is not a part of Alcohol is not no alcohol does not make it in. Listen, it goes oh, it doesn't. No, listen. Wanna... First of all it goes if we're if we're looking at a tier list, right? Random, you if we're looking at a tier me. list, it goes oh, it goes hurt. number one, number Sorry. one me. Okay, okay. Yeah, love yourself, yeah. Thank then you. number one Tied, Molly. Mm -hmm. Then number two. Number two. Food. Actually, one point two. You don't get to make sub numbers now. I mean, Which if I put it on decimal are point, you I could. That all of these are number one. No, because uh, that's what it sounds. I was gonna. I look. All but right. I'm on the same. No, part. one point one point one family. Mm -hmm. One point two. Okay. I'd say good friends. Not all my friends, okay. just the good ones. So one is okay. Okay. caring about yourself and others. Then... Do you phrase it more? No, I care about myself more than others. Okay, so that'd be one and then two. <laughs> no, it'd be one and no, then... No, you don't get to make sub points for that because that would have to be included under one. Yeah, but there's degrees to this shit. Yeah, but you can't just go... One me. One A. Me. Me. Mm, yes. Not confusing for anyone. Family. One C. Listen, if Vin Diesel's about it, so am I. Yeah, sure. Get a Corona. Shush. I don't like Corona. Corona's shit. Uh, but it's the family drink. It's not. It's might be. It maybe it may. Put a lime in it. And suck it. People with. Hey, canonically, according to Fast and Furious, <laughs> people who have Corona have. Uh, Children with women that aren't their wives. That's according to the Fast and the Furious. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, but you can't really subsect it. It doesn't make fine. sense. Fine, all right. One. Myself, and then Tied, Molly. Then, also, sure, Tied, family, and friends, I guess. <laughs> Two. Gundam. Yeah, Gundam. But it's a, it's a complicated relationship because... Either Sometimes way, it spurns my love. Gundam. Sometimes it spurns my love, and it doesn't. It doesn't respect me, and it well, makes stupid the people things. People you love get mad at you. It's, it's, uh, it's not being mad. It's about they betray me, and they they shit in my bed, and they I piss will, on my face. It's not about the company that produces Gundam. It's about Gundam itself. Anyways, uh, so three is then Yu-Gi-Oh, and then four. No, I is mean, then, I mean, actually, I don't know. Food might be higher than both of those. I mean, yeah, everybody has to eat. Food can't count. Yeah, but you. There's a difference between just eat. I'm sorry, your mother. Listen, my mom. My mom. Yeah, this. my mom will. I'm would, not trying to throw her under the bus. No, my mom would survive button. on an IV tube if she could do it. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so like, food's not super high on her list. Right? Yeah. I know it's higher on yeah. yours. Yeah, but. But listen, followed by Gundam, listen. then Yu-Gi-Oh, then you know other stuff. But that's covered top five. Yeah. So. Anyway. Okay. I'm anyway. really glad we got Tariq's... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really glad we got all Tariq's security questions out the way now, so, so now that it's easier to figure all this the out. The funny right? thing is, none of this actually would be counted as... The, no, the security question. What are your significant other's top five things well, in the, the funny, correct order? The, but the funny thing is, if the security question was, what is your favorite anime or manga, neither of them would be Gundam. And that's very funny to me. No, um, it's not because you like the anime manga side of this franchise. Oh, I love the anime side of this franchise most okay. of the time, unless it unless oh, it betrays well, me. Sorry, um, I don't know why I added anime. You should. What you should have said. Side. What you see. The thing is, what you you played yourself on is my is oh. my love is not Gundam. It's Gunpla. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. do you want to explain Gunpla? I guess not. No, I already said Gunpla. I already I explained it at the top. All right, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, these kids are having more fun. Anyway, these kids are having more friend, fun with friends together talking about Gundam than I've ever had in my entire life. Because nobody, I can never get, I can only find one other person in a room at any given point in time that also likes Gundam on the level that I have. And none of us like each other enough to hang out. Um, oh. Uh, that's, what, that's what Instagram and Discord is for. Um, mm, mm. anyway, these kids have a gun. Anyways, holy yeah. shit, kids got a gun. What the fuck? Yeah, kids, also, they also have a drone. They also have a fly. drone. Um, and then his fucking response on, like, how he's gonna practice it is by pulling out a dildo and whapping the fucking target. And missing. And missing. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, and this is, Look at all these cute and this is your hero? Boys. Uh, but yeah, uh, they apparently have a person dedicated to every single part. Someone working on the weapons? Someone doing the programming? I don't know what C3I is. Uh, it's not CGI, unless it is CGI and that 3 is actually a G. Uh, that doesn't make mm -hmm. any fucking sense. I think he's supposed to be the commander? Uh, yeah. Uh, then there's the pilot, and then there's the builder. I don't know why there's so many different fucking roles in one fucking team. That's a lot that of people. you have time to focus I on don't know, so we gotta remember, this is, this is a world where Gundam exists enough so that it's eSport levels, right? 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 Like, no, this is an like eSport level eSport, game, you know? apparently. You gotta, apparently. you gotta have your support. You gotta have your people at the top lanes. You gotta have people in the bot lanes. You know, you gotta have people who, who, who plays Yatsuno, right? I don't... Hey, is Yatsuno still broken in fucking League? I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, like, people keep telling me to watch Arcane, though. Look, we meet oh, three boys good, though. Our, our, on a bus. Thing, Arcane's a real good show, though. So there are three boys on a bus, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so basically, yeah, they're, well, going, they're watching but... a bunch of kids talk about Gundams and everything. Yeah. Right? They're watching themselves yeah. talk about yeah. Gundams and shit. I don't... What's surprising to me is that they're like, I didn't know that he had this skill. Wh how old... How long has it been... Has he just been holding onto this footage and he took, like... Four years to like edit it, right? Edit it, like learn editing what? software. This, this, yes. The way that this video is presented, logo, that this looks like a television nice special. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. That's the thing. That some local news company did on that. That's them. the reason. Like, that's the other reason I started getting fucking stressed out was because it kept doing the thing that Japanese fucking like TV specials do, where they're just mm -hmm. s throwing text up on the screen left and right, and you're like, ah, what? I, I, I can't read and fucking watch. And uh, this is I'm stop sorry, it. Isn't that what subtitles are? Listen, that's different. Yeah. You, Look, you, just okay, you kind of. All right. All right. All right. You kind of. You kind of got me there. You kind of got I'm me just there. Saying, people who give me shit about dubs. Yeah, but it's not like as flashing and like in. No, we know what it is. It's like the subtitles at the bottom of fucking uh, Beyond the Boundaries opening. Mm hmm Where it's just yeah. different every fucking third line. Anyways. Um, anyway, they all meet together in an There's abandoned. Like small... Somehow they all. I don't know if there's old school is abandoned. Or if they just break into nah, it. Nah, they absolutely just went in. Yeah. This is like this if is, I went to this is, my yeah, they just unnamed really go to a random place. school, right? I love like how they just walk into went. the school and they're just like, yep, so, we can just do this, right? Yeah. I well, mean, schools really don't have that great of security. If you yeah, want to just walk in, you... Of course. Well, elementary, elementary, elementary schools. Japanese elementary schools, schools so They don't have to worry about checking people Even coming middle in, and right? High they just let anyone do, in, in a Japanese school, Ele right? No, high schools... High schools have... High schools tend to have security During the off hours? Not during the off hours, Yeah, I guess. exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, I guess... This is clearly we don't know what day this is. This hours. could be a Sunday. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you so come in like, on a Sunday... Ain't nobody here. Nobody wants I mean, to but the here. thing is, usually the doors are at least locked. Who says these... Look, these children are putting together, together like, Gumbla. So they like popped out seven. the tools. So you know what? They absolutely stuck a thing into it. Click. Yeah. So they're actually... This one. is actually Ocean's Eleven. It's... Okay, so <laughs> okay. it's... No, it's it's free. free Gundam Ocean's Eleven. All right, cool. I got it. Um, yeah. Anyway, apparently the big conflict at the start of the show was that they lost their fucking RX-78 at the beginning and mm -hmm. they're like but it was in my bag oh blah blah and then they're one of their alternatives is should we buy another one at the start of the like before the match like when the store opens and yeah. then they'd have to build it clean it up and make it presentable like for performance and showing up at like so any normal person who looks at that is like 
okay, no, that's possible. Like, I guess. Like, I could yeah. do that. But then, right, right, because the RX is like, it's like the like... most basic of Gundam models as well, right? It's yeah. It's not even the, right? It's but not I... like the most complex model to build. I mean, like, what? There's what, like five kids on this team? They could do that. Yeah, you know? I mean, right? each, well, there's only one builder, though. The other, it's oh. gonna be, it's gonna be one kid building the 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 model kit, one kid building the weapons, which will take him actually like maybe five to ten which minutes. Which I think was already built. Yeah. And then the other three kids just standing around going, "Hurry up! Oh, hurry the fuck up! Hurry up! Hurry the fuck up!" Also, I, I just realized that the kid in gray is actually Hero. I thought that this was Takumi the whole time, mm-hmm. but it's actually like it's not Takumi. It's it's fucking Hero. So it's Hero who is. Our main character, basically. Who's He's our harm. He was the one that was being a bitch the whole time and being upset about losing the fucking model kit. To to, to Takumi, and it's like... You mean Takumi? Takumi? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But, like, Mommy. for some reason, that's the conflict. And so, I guess Hero's thing isn't feeling bad about himself losing the RX-78... It's about being angry at Takumi about losing the RX-78. Yeah. That's actually a lot... Yeah. That's actually a very different dynamic than what I'm I thought it was last night. Oh. Um, but yeah. So, you and then there's one other nice kid... Nice-ass outfits, though. Like, we got one kid in a... Like, two kids in button-down shirts. A kid in a sweater vest. A kid in just, like, a full fucking sweater with a collared shirt underneath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, no. <laughs> clearly, none of these kids, or or at least some of them, don't go to the same school, obviously, right? Yeah. Anyway, so we're just unsupervised in the basement. and Yeah, we literally just shit. break into an abandoned school building, which apparently still has a lot of stuff in it. Listen, they break into abandoned school buildings. They break into, like... Who knows if it's actually abandoned? It's certain people's... Be- they bur- break into certain people's houses. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Takumi, Takumi did not age up as well as the others. Uh, and then it shows up absolute Chad Soda. Uh, Why is your hair like that? How much money do you spend on hair product? Oh, uh, look, look, what when have your you parents been doing? are rich, you can get any hair product you want, alright? Yeah. It's just like anime protagonist I, I hair, would, you know? I would like to find like another, anime like, hair. You, Asian yeah. man to do right? that with hair. Right, he has that cool anime so hair. Poke it. It's, right? Is that weird? It's not that, it's not... I mean, it's not going to be... It's just so big. Listen, they they spend a considerable amount of money on their product. That's just a thing yeah. that they do. That's not a thing that uh, I like have to do because... Briefcase. Yeah, I'm me. Yeah, anyway, Imaizumi sent them a fucking a briefcase. I'm hoping it's not anthrax. Here, hero, you open it. Here's your anthrax. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <gasps> But yeah, uh, and then lo and behold, like fucking Pulp Fiction, out pops. Wow, it's, it's the grand, it's the Granddaddy Gundam. Mm-hmm. Cool, fine. It's a terrible. It's unless this is. I like that they have a foam thing with the space for it. Oh well, yeah, no, that's, like, that's they that's have a cu- no. They precisely what is it? Izumi, right? Yeah, ha- reminds me. Yeah, made a custom. Did a custom foam insert for that, alright? He's like, yeah. cool. I want to find a fucking piece of foam, cut the right size out. Put it's it not in that, there, yeah. And yeah. It. yeah. It's, like, it's, well, it's not that hard it, to cut out a custom yeah. piece of foam it's, like that. It's just so, a lot right. of work. I'm just yeah. I mean, look, look, he you want to present okay. that. He right? wanted to send it. What I. No, actually, With here's, no here's, here's what I find the most, like, ridiculous about this. Is not that he cut a piece of foam to fit the Gundam in, is that if he was really smart. He would have cut the piece of foam to fit each, not individual piece, but at least, like, body part. And he would have separated the body parts and put them in different parts. Because I otherwise, know. this is going to rattle around and, like, mm. even, even those fucking beam sabers up in the backpack, that gives me anxiety. Because <laughs> the fin, that the gives me, the, the V-fin on the, oh, the, on the forehead, that gives me anxiety. Oh my God. Any of these so thin pieces anxiety. can, like snap off at a fucking instant and like if you're just having them rattle around yeah sure maybe you're holding it together but like that's gonna put pressure on it mm-hmm. also here's my but this is going this is this is my bigger thing so in the Gundam build series they don't use different scale model kits against like each other like there's presumably there'd be weight classes but I've never seen it be depicted as anything other than just using high grades the RX-78 that they're using looks like they're using a real grade. Now, 
Let me let me explain for the uneducated. Let me explain. Let me let me explain for the, explain, right? for the uneducated. All right. Gun to model kits come in various grades. Model kits in yeah, general yeah, yeah. come in various grades. Mm -hmm. Um, there's there's fucking perfect grade, which is the big mm -hmm. fucking. That's that's uh just those are the immaculate big boys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then there's master grade, right? Which is the bigger boys that uh depending on the the year that they were made, they're either like fucking flawless or they're just higher quality like actual um like they're actually articulated in like parts there's actual like paint separation on parts that is very good for a lot of the old ones back in like the 80s 90s the and early 2000s the master grades were the only ones that actually had like part separation and didn't have like require you to like do a bunch of fucking paint just to do every single yeah, yeah. like part. Think old Gundam Wing kits because the Gundam Wing mm -hmm. kits and like the G Gundam kits back in the nineties were fucking dog shit, and they still are dog shit. But now they're coming out with new ones like over the last like five years because of Gundam Build like series actually, and that's great. Um, that are like modernized, but like the old old kits are dog shit. Anyway, mm. those are typically. Uh, also, to go back, perfect grade is is one sixtieth scale, master grade is one one hundredth scale, and then you get to high grade and real grade, which are one one forty one one hundred and forty fourth scale. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the, But the difference mm -hmm. between a real grade and a high grade is essentially you're getting all of the detail and articulation of a master grade compressed into a high grade scale, and so it's like. It hits a, a price point that's an in between for a high grade and a master grade, but mm -hmm. like again in in the build series, nobody's using a fucking like real grade. So what is the general mm -hmm. grade that people get? the The basic grade that people get most often is a high grade. Okay. Yeah, that's what I get too. Yeah. So that's right. just the basis. Right. Your base. Well, uh, the general assumed in this show context, it should be yes, sort of yeah. Everyone's showing up with a hybrid. If something has a frame inside of it, it's either it came with it, like in the Iron Blooded Orphans like line of of mobile suits and Gundams, yeah. or uh, or you put it in there. If you're mm -hmm. playing with a real grade, that seems like a huge fucking like just skill advantage like performance advantage because you're using basically like because even the most uh recent like 2015 uh edition of there's been more and more articulated in like different kinds of like rx-78-2 gundams that have come out but like mm -hmm. putting if you're going to put like an old ass gundam against like let's say the unicorn gundam yeah, yeah. You're really fucking giving yourself playing with a disadvantage and a handicap because that thing is so fucking bare bones and has no, like, special, like, add-ons or anything. And they mm -hmm. also have done nothing to customize it other than put, like, decals and, like, paint and shit on it. So, cool. I'm glad you guys got your little old rinky-dink piece of shit Gundam back. But, like, mm -hmm. this isn't a... This won't perform well. Why do you keep using mm -hmm. it? Stop using yeah. it! It's a bad Gundam! It's a bad... <laughs> Amaro doesn't even use it anymore. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, anyway, yeah, back uh, back to the show. Um, I, uh, I went into another place for a second. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, hey, none of my Gundam stuff has shipped out yet. Boy, uh-oh, I got... Left, I got ten days left to this to this Christmas party, and none of my Gundam shares. Oh boy! By the way, maybe it wasn't a good idea this year to get every all of my closest friends fucking Gundam kits. Oh, supply kit. side economics. Uh oh, hey, it turns out, hey, it turns out, uh, those those uh chain supply issues are very real right now. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, but yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. So back to the show. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. So. Uh. Uh, Izumi sent him a sent him a fucking sent him a a a, a an RX seventy two model kit. Like, hey, look, hey, look, I found the Gundam kids we lost. Yeah, hey, remember all that trauma kid. we had about that Gundam kit that we lost? Here it is. Yeah, 
Here, here's this. I went to the, I went to the local hobby shop, paid twenty, what, fifteen, what, yeah. RX, like fifty, twenty bucks for it. All right, our friendship is, is fixed. Yeah, the all good. We, we, anyway, yeah. I'm in another country. I, it's none of my problem. Anyway, no return address. Mm -hmm. Can't find me. Yeah. Um, I had time to send you this fucking model, this thing though. Yeah. Right? Um, but yeah, so it, then they're just like. Uh, I guess we'll give it to Hero because he's the main shareholder according to it. I don't know what they mean by shareholder uh, in this sense. I don't know what that I would means. I most invested. What is that? Mm -hmm. But I don't know what that means. Like in this case, possibly paid. He, did he he bought he bought the Gundam the kit? Sure. Like he put in the most, or like yeah. he was always no. and he was always the most like enthusiastic and like very serious about it. I guess. Boy, boy, Kentaro myself. really looks like a school shooter. He does. It's really good. Like, especially on this seaside scene, like he really, uh, With his, but like underbite. He, he, it's not even an underbite. He just like fucking, he intentionally like juts his jaw out and like looks like, uh, mm. I'll fucking mm, don't come to school tomorrow. Like, uh, <laughs> anyways, it's cuddle season. Yeah, apparently it's cuddle season. Uh, and I'm throwing shit. Uh, we're on the bus and we, oops, we threw lipstick. Uh. Fuck. I didn't mean to hit you. Fuck well, you guys. That wasn't on purpose. Yeah, all of you... Uh, that's, Oops, what? That's really... I don't... Please don't throw things at me. Also, especially mm -hmm. lipstick. I don't want goop on me. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Hero pops a boner about it. Uh, he's like, ooh, a lady. A lady just threw stuff at me to get my attention, right? Then he does the anime we thing. we all know how throwing things to get women's attention or someone else's attention works. All right. Well, all right. When you put it that way, I guess, <laughs> I guess that has, I mean, listen, I made, I shot my shot and it might have been in a crumpled up piece of receipt paper. Uh, Whatever. It worked out because you're here now. Uh, mm -hmm. Might have been perceived as trash until you just went, just keep it. Anyway. Anyway, Hero goes to the local local hobby. Hero goes to the local hobby store. I kind of got almost got like mixed up with like the H's and L's there. But anyway, uh, yeah. Somehow he knows. I mean, I guess like when you know your hobby store, like you know your local you hobby know store guy. Like, uh, I don't know any of their fucking names. I don't want to recognize them when you. Oh go in? yeah, but I but yeah. they wouldn't let me into the back room where they well, paint yeah, their own you shit and have my friend them like, start like getting in with them, break room. Like, yeah, well, that's because they're a bunch of weird white people in Rockville. Anyways, we have a debate as to whether or not the overstock in his area is personally his or like the store is. Yeah, he just has this this also, fucking why store. Why are we all so motivated by girls? I mean, yeah. Hey, if you do well in esports, you can get pussy. That might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard someone say to anyone ever. Mm -hmm. Like, right, right. oh, okay, yeah, that's the key to getting women. Get good at yeah. esports. I uh, no, 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 no. Hey, in this world, in this world, like, look, it's it's all Gundam or all nothing. All right. Yeah, there are no sports. Fuck. Gundam or nothing. What is? Only e what's basketball? What's football? What's baseball? Yeah, look, look. There's and only the, Gundam. And you, and there always has been. You're either born a Gundam winner or you're born a Gundam loser. All right. Yeah. But also, is like, like this overcrowded area his personal like stuff, or just like the literal shop with so much shit? You also, it, you it must be his shop because yeah, that's what I said. I, I guess, night, but you were like, no, oh, I it's just, just all the stuff. only thing I the only thing I realized was, um, because he has this display case, right, of various things, yeah. and they are and, and it has of the people and it has there. yeah, so does fucking like bazooka, and it's like, well, there's no reason for him to have that for himself in a private like container like display mm -hmm. case. That would be really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, also you can see you can see like the racks where you put where he has all the paint supplies in the background too, right? Yeah, this but is they just could a be. very small store. I don't know where it's his, right? His office, like 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 literally the front of the store is also the office space as well. I guess like our our space. Oh. There's the nook. There's, mm -hmm. He has owner's nook. Oh, I, I hey, I can name another Gundam now. Another oh. model kit. I can name. 
almost every single model kit on the That's shelves right. here. Um, mm -hmm. This and is a fun game to sit through. It's a like... it's a painful game actually because I should be better at it. Um, oh, I can see the bottom now too. All right, so uh, looking at the the second shelf, we got um, fuck. I need to look at what the fuck is the other one besides Destiny. Uh, uh, there's the Destiny Gundam, and then Pokemon there's oh, uh, there's fucking hold on, hold on. All right, well uh, let's start with the top. All right. I don't know what the I don't know what some of that is, but I know there's a Master Grade Barbatos there. I know there's a fucking Narrative Gundam up there. I can see what it looks to be a, a Master Grade uh, RX seventy uh, eight Gundam up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Then you move Which over. Is the master Grade of what these children are. Yeah, there's definitely a Destiny Gundam back there. You can see it like at eleven thirty one. You can see it just right in there in the back. Um, then there appears to be a, a double O Quanta, but specifically the version after it be, uh, fuses with the ELS in the movie uh, fucking goddamn uh, Awakening of the Trailblazer. That uh, appears to be a GM, probably a GM sniper. Then there's a G Self, the Grimoire. Uh, then there's a Master Grade Exia, maybe a Perfect Grade Exia, like probably a Perfect. Grimory? Yep. Uh, the, mm -hmm. well, the Grimoire and Grimory are two different words. I know, but um, that's not. Uh, well, it's not an actual Gundam. It's a the Grimoire is a is a is like a grunt suit. The Grimory is a Gundam. That's a Grimory Gundam. Anyway, there's there's a perfect grade Exia and a perfect grade uh, uh, double O, presumably. God damn it! The get out of here ads. Uh, I'm trying to find fucking goddamn. And this man can name this by yeah, uh, looking at them from a vague kind of small uh, distance, uh, like several feet. Uh, sh uh, fuck you! Oh wait, hold up. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. I assume you mean fuck you to the look of yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not. I mean, that's a different time. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not, not destiny impulse. Not no, nope, not true. Yeah, yeah, no, not no, 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 not not that. Um. Uh, well, but, 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 Legend Gundam. Sense. That's what it is. This is the lead. The second level. It's the Legend Gundam. Uh, that's probably a high grade. I'd assume that's a master grade of the uh, V2 Gundam. Then we got uh, yeah. the White uh -huh, Zaku uh -huh. Warrior over there. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got this stupid bazooka. I got a, uh, I believe it's a Sculpius. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Is the, the fucking high grade over there. That's from the fucking uh, side story uh, thing from Gundam Wing. Uh, very okay, obscure okay. Gundam to have, but it's awesome that he has it. Um, and then I have to wait for the angle to change so that I can uh, name the rest of it. Uh, okay. uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Come on, come on. Hey, give me, give me the rest of this shit. No, damn it. Okay. It went. Oh wait, yep. Yeah, fuck. No, damn it. Uh, there's a shot where it shows all of it. Uh, but anyway, I can name most of it. There's a bunch of fucking okay. Zaku's on the third floor, and a yeah, Gel Goog yeah, yeah. and a Master Ge Grade Gel Goog. And then you can also see like the Mark II down there at the bottom. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of what you might call a uh, a Gundam pro. You might say I might, I'm, I might know you might my Gunplus. A dork. I might be it. called, I might be called an yeah, absolute, an absolute Chad of Gundam. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, they go to fucking Soda's family, Parents. or actually, it's not even Soda's. Yeah, it's yeah. Takumi's. Family uh, diner uh, because it's Takumi's dad. That's uh, apparently just an old man. Uh, Takumi's dad is also his grandpa, potentially. <laughs> um, Anyways, apparently his sister's the hottest. Yeah. Person. Also, in true anime fashion, uh, even though this is a live action, the older sister is the hottest person in the show. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Spoilers. Wait till episode three. <laughs> yeah, and then she makes fucking poor, uh, goddamn. Uh, mm. uh, Nakamaru come in his pants. Um, okay. Uh, Sports mayonnaise. Anyways. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So then they're all like, maybe we should try playing some Gunpla. Uh, maybe we do. I don't know. Yeah. The store was like, hey, you should try playing some Gunpla. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then yeah, it turns yeah, out like right, so look, you gotta start small, there. right? You can't you can't you can't just go to the national uh, qualifiers, right? Wait, wait, gotta, gotta do these local events, you know? Yeah, like, go to go local, local tournaments. Go to local yeah, tournaments, you know, they right, say. Right. Play right, a local. Like Blade Blade Bowl Championship. You can't you you don't just straight up go there. You gotta do local Blade. Beyblade yeah, you gotta do events, local you know? Beyblade tournaments in the park, especially in the, the side. state. 
And especially in a state that for some reason has this frequently for some reason in comparison to other states. You know, our state I just like that we have to like it's some, place one them. of the most active Beyblade tournament states. We had listen, hey, we're out here representing. We're the we're the true. Yeah. It's the Beyblade. Be, I, I'll say it. Maryland is the Beyblade capital of the East Coast. Tr mm -hmm. Prove me wrong. Right. Um, but yeah. Meanwhile, uh, we show about the competition. Yeah, everybody and decides we to get go. To, like delightfully, yeah, like look. Watch like, even though none fucking... of them has had any Gundam in years, right? So they're like, yeah. all right, look, we're gonna do this, all right? Listen, Anyways, okay. Assess the Gundam. Here's scan the Gundam. Here's what the equivalent Understand is. Understand the Gundam. Here it's back. Here's what the equivalent is. I just realized this is what the equivalent is. This is something someone showing up to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament okay. with their deck from 2006. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that. But, like, they it's went, like, oh, okay, like, I'll take out the ban cards. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, why isn't it winning? I don't know, man. You got, like, fucking goddamn Beaver Warrior Louise in your deck. Hey, it's Louise! So why the fuck do you think you're losing? I don't know, man. I'm not gonna say Louise is my favorite, but... Uh, Louise is a... Hey, Austin, did you know that Beaver Warrior's real name is Louise? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I that, didn't, that was in the manga or something, right? I didn't realize that at all until recently just watching someone else, like, comment on fucking Yu-Gi-Oh shit. And I went, is that true? Mm. And then I fucking went and checked the Japanese. I went, oh, fuck. Oh, I guess it is. That's true. Uh, Thanks, Louise. Wild. Um, but yeah, this is someone showing up Louis. to... This is someone showing up... This isn't even someone trying to show up with a modernized Dark Magician deck. With Xyz monsters and, like, Dark Magical Circle and fucking... And Dragoon... Right? This is someone showing up and going, so yeah, this, what's Relinquished doing these days? Like, how, mm -hmm. how tough is Relinquished? And it's like, what? Why, why do you think that this would be good? Um, but yeah, it's, it's Soda and Hero, and then Takumi, and the squad's all here, except not completely here. Um, mm -hmm. I, and, and there's a weird dent in the uh fucking in the the leg of the goddamn uh rx 78 too and i don't really understand how that happened but yeah um this is this is a thing this is a or maybe i guess that's supposed to be paint i don't know i i just look at that and i see a dent right at 1553 Eh, it looks like... Like, that looks like it got fucking hit by a, like, BB gun. Yeah, that is true, and it looks... I think it is a dent, right? Yeah, it looks like it... I mean, yeah, the paint job is one thing, but it looks like there's an actual dent in the side where, like, it got mm -hmm. shot by, like, a little BB pellet. <laughs> um... Don't... Don't shoot at your Gundam. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe little kids that run around with BB guns shouldn't be playing with, like... Plastic model kits. Anyway, uh, the drone... We took over an entire small island. Yeah, anyway, the Iron Man drones were released uh, to fucking take over this train track. I sure hope nobody on this train fucking gets scared. Yeah, um, right? I hope I hope they told the town before this, Yeah. Like, hey, there's gonna be a bunch of CG VR fucking thing happening. But By the way, this thing similar doesn't... to football, and, like, some people don't pay attention, so they're just like, I'm sorry, the fuck? Right, no, the fact that this thing is, like, publicly able to see, right? Right, like, right, like, like you're not looking at this from, like, a special lens, right, or anything, right? It's just that apparently anyone can see this shit, Yeah, right? because they're projecting it. They're not... That That's the thing that's, I think, wild like to me. Five. So, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Arc 5. Yeah. Except there aren't literal quests people can fall off of You're right. and die. Yeah. And then they but go everyone's away. amazed by this and everyone in the town is came out to see it. But right? it's so everyone... it's so weird to me that like at least a good handful of people. And like, none of them are reporters. They took they took a third again, it's like all three Gundam build series. Like like the individual ones. Mm -hmm. Fighters, divers, and real. Each one has its own like mechanic for how the gunpla battles happen and 
I hate to say that, like, a bunch of space particles brought in from another world, like, Minoski used... Particles? No, Plavsky, Plavsky particles. particles. Uh, see, Minoski particles are real within canon of, of Gundam. Sorry. Mm-hmm. My, I, I got my particles confused. Uh, that's a rookie mistake. Um, oh, such a little sad girl. Yeah. Um, oh, she took the headphone out of my ear. Anyway. Um, yeah, but everyone in town is excited yeah, for but it. Somehow, they had yeah, else. but somehow nobody, they have... Nobody had anything days. else to do today, apparently. Yeah, somehow everyone they have... Town, I mean, we don't know what day of the week this is. It could be a Tuesday. It's probably a Saturday. Yeah. I'd uh, say it's probably a Sunday, but... I'd hope that it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm pretty sure your response was... I'm sorry, they're using that to fight the unicorn? Yeah, it's, it's literally... They fought the unicorn. The unicorn, which is supposed to be the epitome of development between... From the RX-78-2. Hence mm-hmm. why it's like the RX-0. Mm-hmm. Against the RX-78-2. It is... This is the equivalent of a toddler fighting, like, Conor McGregor. Like, okay. you are... Let's just... Let me just let me just give you uh, Tariq's rundown of the model... Of, of the Gundam uh, shown right okay. now. Sorry, I promised yeah. you. Alright, so the RX-72's armament includes... Two beam sabers on the back. Uh, a, a beam rifle. A shield. That is... Uh, resistant to uh, beam it. The RX seventy eight two is the granddaddy. Okay. They're both RX, but one is seventy eight two, one is zero. Uh, That's why. Why the fuck this Gundam still doesn't have like a name attributed to it other than Granddaddy OG Gundam? Uh, befuddles me. But still. Um, Bright Gundam. Uh, that's Gundam. not no no. Oh, uh, they're hey. Fun fact: they're called Team Bright probably because it's a reference to Bright Noah, the captain of the uh, ship in which uh, the first oh, oh, the captain okay, of the of the first ship on okay. on uh, OG Gundam. Um, I love references mm-hmm. inside a thing. Um, but anyway, so it has it has two beam sabers on its back, a beam rifle, a shield that is resistant to beam attacks. Um, mm-hmm. Presumably, the two other handles that are in the shield uh, of the Gundam are used for the other two weapons that it's supposed to have, which are a beam javelin and a and a mace. I doubt that that's what they are. Maybe they're actually useful and they're two more beam sabers, but either way, that's still just two more like close-range weapons. And then there's a bazooka. Mm-hmm. That's what the RX-78-2 has. Yeah. Now let's get to the unicorn. Let's get to the unicorn. All right. Just starting off. Just starting off on the weapons. All right. It has two beam sabers in the backpack. Okay. Two more beam sabers in each of its uh, forearm parts, which are technically called beam tonfas because they can just flip over and just you can just slash out with your arm with a beam saber. Mm -hmm. It has a shield that has an eye field, and an eye field reflects Minovsky particles, which are, the, in the Universal Century, the particles that are used to make beam weapons. So it can mm. actively diffuse beam weapons with its fucking shield already. Then it has a beam magnum. Not a beam rifle, a beam magnum, which shoots out, like, has about six shots in the fucking, like, magazine uh, that can fire compartmentalized I think it's called a hyper mega particle cannon fuck okay. man it's not a good okay. name but it's a okay, really a fucking but essentially it's essentially it's the equivalent of the kind of like laser cannon that would be on like a battleship okay in a gun it's mm. shoot it's the desert eagle of fucking like okay. like guns versus having a hunting rifle or a musket. It's not quite a musket. It's a it's having a hunting rifle versus a fucking desert eagle. Like, yeah, okay, you can and fire one shot off and maybe that'll hit him. But even if this doesn't like hit you directly in the fucking face, it will blow your shoulder off. Like, yeah. it's a fucking monster. That's the mm-hmm. base of it. Versus then, then then 
there's the fact that the Unicorn Gundam has the NTD, which is short for New Type Destroyer System, which means that the Unicorn Gundam, theoretically in the presence of a New Type, but depending on the user, can just transform and split the horn and all of the fucking Psycho Frame shit that is within its armor, that is part of how it's built, expands and it grows like the Grinch's heart. And its entire body can operate essentially on psychic wavelengths and can be moved mm. by thought alone. And okay. then it can take over other systems that have psycho frame in them and disable other things that have psycho frame in them and just shut that shit down. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's right. not adding to any of the final fucking parts of what it is by the end of its own series, where it's just got two bazookas, three, uh, te technically, six Gatling guns, three shields, two big-ass boosters, a bunch of fucking rocket launchers. It's a monster of a mobile suit. Yeah. Why you would put this against, like, your little bitch-ass Gundam is beyond me. Right, but here's the thing within this Gundam world lore, right? How much of this is actually applicable to these, right? Because I assume every Gundam in this, it's, it's like it's, 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 it's like Mega Man and, and Metabots, right? How they all have base stats and all that shit. Because they don't show any of these Gundam stats. At I mean, point. they just said, hey, here's your little Gundam. Place it in like the little in, in like the little Skylander amiibo portal and it comes I to mean, life, right? Like when you enter like a WWE fight, nobody has stats. Oh, uh, they definitely. Right? Like, definitely... are we supposed to assume every single Gundam within this Gundam universe is the same base stats, or whatever, and it's all in the end depends on the pilot who's pilot. By the way, they're piloting in this the worst way possible. They're using their smartphones, right? I mean, they he said. VR the, I mean, the the unicorn pilot was like, <clears throat> only dumbass kids would try to do this with a fuck. Hey, you're using the Oculus? What a fool! I'm using my PSVR, like. That's right. that's essentially what's well, happening I, so here. I, I really like how they're using the pilot their phone. I'm like, I don't think the phone's like the most appropriate way to maneuver. Well, he's got Gundam. the VR for he's got the VR for the like the perspective, and then he's using the phone for uh like, like a controls. controller. But here's the thing: it's I don't think the phone has, doesn't have enough button schemes for this thing, right? Oh yeah, for it to be controlled, all the intricate, all the intricate movement, right? Well, at I least, at least they were like, using like a PlayStation controller or something. Yeah, that's why right? I'm saying things about like the come hither that happens later. Well, what I was going yeah. to say is the thing about the, in comparison to the other team that they face, Monster, which hey, spoiler alert, that happens in episode two, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. They have a gaming chair rig set up where they put on the virtual reality goggles. And, but they also have, like, controllers and, like, brake pads and shit. And they sit in there like fucking Professor Xavier, like, with a fucking full, like, <laughs> setup. I'm just saying that that's more, that's closer to what an actual Gundam's, like, cockpit would be like. Where you yeah. have to operate with, like, levers and buttons and triggers and shit. Mm -hmm. And brake pads and pedals and things. We'll get there when we get to the episode. What? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get to... Hey, hey, look out for episode two, where apparently Molly has a breakdown about uh, people in chairs trying to do uh, things as much as people who stand. <laughs> I'm not saying that that's ableist, but, you know... Um, but yeah, right. anyway... We're talking about a man who can stand and yeah, not he, be in the yeah. chair. Well, based off yeah, of his worm-like the, the, the RX-78 knocks out the beam saber in it. No, and yeah. I guess I people his, react to it like, it was, like they're going to get crushed. Yeah. Even though all this is virtual reality. Which would prove... Yourself. Which would, which proves to the, the point that this definitely scares the shit out of certain people. Yeah. Right, yeah. like... Like 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 can you just imagine if you're a guy who's not into this Gundam shit in this yeah, universe and who's, who's just never heard of Gundam job, right? Who's well, like I need to get fucking they yeah I can't believe the there's road. a boy who's never heard of Gunpla. Yeah, you know. Um, right? like, like, like a guy who's just trying to get to his fucking job <laughs> and he has to deal with this thing, right? Yeah. Like goddamn these things are in the fucking way again. Yeah. I'm trying to get to my job. But I'm don't having. Worry, also, we're hey. just driving and you see fucking. Pretty pink, See, I was about to say, I was about to say, boy, I sure hope that there's insurance for, oops, like, 
Oh man, I had a sunbeam in my eye. Oh, I had a laser beam projected from a fucking gunpla fight in my eye. That I'm sorry. Sense. I'm sorry that I ran into those children on the street. Like, oops. I got alarmed. There's yeah. fucking lasers coming at me. Uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, so... Why does this room also look like somebody's been smoking in it? Uh, because everything in Japan is is actually kind of, uh, uh just... Oh, okay, so it's like 95 in Japan? Uh, sure, yeah. It's just always kind of dimly lit. Um, but also... Oh, it's fuzzy. Yeah. Um, I will say, so... In, I do like that they have a pit stop. Yeah. Of just like... Yeah, Put your shit back together? Fix that shit. But I was gonna say, like, so, as a point of... of uh, appreciation for this series. The mm -hmm. animation for these like CG fights are actually not bad. No, no, no. The, 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 the CG, the CG in this Gundam show is actually very good. And right? and I thought this is very good. And then I saw in the credits the other night, well, li literally yesterday when we burned through like three <laughs> episodes. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apparently, production IG has a has a part in this. So I'd mm -hmm. assume that production IG. Of Ghost in the Shell fame, uh, is doing something to fucking help them, like, make this animation look real fucking smooth. Anyway, Takumi grew up and got real fucking pimple faced and sweaty, um, and that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, he's doing the shit to, like, help, like, uh, clean stuff up, and then they're gonna go yeah, in. Yeah, putting this back together, I got it! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 look, no, no, they get ready for round two, where they have yeah. to fix the Gundam, which I'm really confused, like, what are they fixing on this Gundam when they're doing the pit stop, right? It's not like a oh, car race, on? right? Like, like NASCAR, where you actively have to switch out the tires because they burn through that, right? I'm like, well, I don't what are you fixing at this moment? Uh, right, like, these Gundams are just, are just 3D scans. And yeah, they're, like, they're definitely just right? standing there and not doing anything. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, like, there's like no physical damage happening to the Gundam, so I don't know. Realize, I don't understand. This part's weak. It is kind of, it is kind of different from, uh, like what was interesting in the Build Fighter series versus all the other ones was that because the Gundams, like the the model kits, were actually physically worry, being no physically right? being like, puppeted like metabots or some shit. Like well, that, but right? they were like, yeah, they were like physically being puppeted, but like because essentially. The particles were flowing in the arena, and so they mm -hmm. basically filled the hollow parts of the model kit and then allowed them to move them at will. That is mm -hmm. the best interpretation I can think of to whatever the fuck they were trying to say is how that mm. shit worked. But because of right, that, right. your Gundam or, or Gunpla could actively, like, get a piece, like, broken or burnt or, like, sliced off and, like, shattered. And you would have to have spare parts or, like, other stuff to, yeah, like, yeah. Right, uh, right. work Those on. Spoilers. But this is just, like, I mean, they're just standing there. Yeah. Like, they're just right. standing like, there. Like, dude, like, 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 only one guy's even piloting the gun of the entire time. The other dude is just watching it yeah. happen. They're like, all right. Like I said, there's... Like he said, there's one person for every minute job in this. Yeah, but like... We got weapons, we got building, we got tactics, we got cheer, we yeah. got... Uh, uh, but yeah. Weapons. Uh, I don't know if I said that. But yeah, so they they all <laughs> they all flash back to being uh, kids and they're like, oh man, we're working together again. Um, and they choose to use the fucking Armageddon bazooka. Bazooka. Which is like, Bazooka. okay, cool. Bubblegum. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> really? That's what pops into our head when people say bazooka, okay? That stupid ass camp cheer? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. All of think, those. I honestly think that Fairy Day Camp might have been a problem. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should be burned to the ground. <laughs> um. Are you just saying that because of. I just think that's a, it's, I just think it's I just think it's a I just think it's a place for I mean cults. I think it's weird if I think you that go every to school there and also go to camp. I think that everybody at the Berry Day camp uh, always runs to many with kids. where they no they just go they just go camp. where it's like well at Barry it's like a fucking private club it's like fuck off fuck off with Barry I don't give a shit about this anyway mm -hmm, right um hero yeah. hammers hits a dude in the head with a fucking bazooka 
but right, fucking, which is an ab- again. I will say this: if you're going to fight with an in- clearly inferior machine, props to you for just going fuck it. I'll just hit you with my fucking gun. Yeah, I don't. Well, well, right, nothing in the rule book says I have to use the bazooka as a bazooka. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Think outside the think outside the the the, the three dimensional outside plane of existence outside the gunpla box. Yeah. But also remember the old times. Yeah, how you used how to fight. You- Dirty, Dirty and real. Got right. to build real. Whoa. Just fucking hit it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna fucking slap you. Yeah. Hey, it's a move. That's a power move. Uh, mm-hmm. Still lost. But. but yeah, and then uh, the unicorn just goes, all right, I'm gonna stop playing. And then goes Super Saiyan with a fucking NTD and goes, ah, uh, fuck you. I, I win. That's... Mm-hmm. Right. Wh- what? It... It's Krillin versus Goku. That's what it is. This is... This is... This is uh, like, someone who was at the beginning, like, kind of cool, but now it's like, that's completely fucking inferior. I'm uh, so confused mm-hmm. as to how we're equating, like, hand, like, to phone control versus, like, physical hand control. I like, just imagine that it's a bunch of buttons on the fucking... Now, the problem is that, I mean, that, I bet like, there's a bunch of buttons, but, like, that seems like a fucking crazy way to do it. Yeah. Like... Uh, but yeah, uh... One button for every finger, one button for, like, the fist, one button for attack. Just yeah. Just too many buttons. Mm-hmm. Too yeah. many buttons. Just... And also to not be looking at it. Oh, I did forget one other piece of weaponry that the fucking RX-78 has is fucking Vulcans on its forehead. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Vulcan... The, the Gatling... The, the fucking... The machine guns on a tank equivalent. Because, you know, when mm-hmm. you're in a tank, your main focus is the machine gun parts and not the fucking goddamn giant-ass cannon. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, uh, they get their asses fucking handed to them. Yeah, yeah. It, it turns out, it turns out, hey... It's, it's great. Yeah. Good yeah, but don't them. worry. Don't worry. It's never about winning or losing, all right? Yeah, it's about awakening something in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't worry. They, oh, don't worry. they take their loss on, like, like a champ, so it's fine, right? Yeah. But also and, and they learn from this, and, and they and use that as a learning moment. Yeah, and so and so they decide. Oh, but what's this? Ooh, somebody's talking to somebody in the shadows. Ooh, why is Soda talking to this weird guy? Who's that? Hmm. Why does nose. his Why does his Not nose weird. look really bad? Oh man. His nose looks like he's being suffocated with pantyhose. Is it Sid the Sloth? We'll find out in the next episode of Gundam Build Real. Oh. But meanwhile. Everybody breaks into somebody's house. Yeah. And it turns out... We are in your house. And it turns out that it's Nakamaru's house. Can you please... That's not actually his house. house. It's just the house that, like, his parents own. Oh, For look. For some reason. I don't know. Uh, I'm very confused. All right. That's it. Oh, oh. No, naming gun the box. All right. Box. Oh, yeah, there, there's some boxes there. Uh, let me there's see if I can... Boxes. Oh, this is Tariq's... Uh, see if he can name yeah, the gun. I'm, I'm really glad how they could just... How they just fucking enter this house, right? They're like... They're like Wow, this house is still here, right? Yeah, yeah I can't I believe. Mean, like, what was there if if it wasn't there anymore? Were okay. they breaking into somebody's house? Like, what if it had been like if it had okay, been sold? Like, yeah, if it had been sold, mm-hmm. that'd be a problem. But they looked at yeah, it and went, "Right, oh look, our clubhouse is here." It's like finding a tree fort in the woods. This is not even a clubhouse. Like, this is like an actual house. house. No, it's a fo- this is a this is like beachside property. Yeah, and like yeah, this is right? like when it's kids like, have a hideout in the woods to meet. But no, no, yeah. no, no, this, this is, is like not, this is not some abandoned is some playing. abandoned area sixty one. This is straight up like a house. Yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah, what's this fuck's house? His parents must be fucking. That's why he was so fat as a kid. His fucking parents were loaded. He's a little, <laughs> he's a little tubby because he get, keeps getting food. He's like, mm, yeah, mommy, daddy, feed, feed me. me. <laughs> mommy, daddy, feed me. Mm, mm, grubby, grubby. grubby. Um, Look, all the small right. Asian boys are pretty adorable. Look, all I can see is an infinite justice Gundam. I boy. It's not an RX-78-2, but I think it's... Oh, it's the Ale Strike. That's what that is. Underneath oh, that okay, one. Okay. That's probably the Please Aegis gun. Oh, that's the Aegis... All right, boxes. all right, all right. It goes... The Infinite Justice is the one that's facing us. Then it's the Ale Strike on top. Then the... I'm sorry. Then it's the Aegis Gundam on top. The Ale Strike on the bottom. These other two are, seem to be the same. I'd probably mm-hmm. attribute them to being... Um... The Eins Gundam from Gundam Double mm-hmm. O, 
But I'm okay, not okay, entirely okay. sure. I'm just basing that off of the cannon. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, there's a bunch of other shit in the fucking house. Whatever. Yeah, there's yeah. a foosball table for some fucking reason. Yeah. Table. Oh yeah, it was oh, kind of like they left it for children to use. After a play of, do of playing Gundams, you just gotta chill and relax with the boys, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this is. Yeah. I mean, when, hold on. When you're, you're they're shocked that someone, someone lives in this too. fucking house. When your man right? cave is an is an entire fucking bit. This is like if bet <laughs> if if instead of like instead of Bruce Wayne deciding to get into fucking like. <laughs> Instead of getting into fucking crime fighting, he just had a fucking house on the side that he was like, "This is my man cave. This is where I play yeah, Gundam with the right, boys." Right, right, uh, I like to point out how these like how these people realize, boy, it's really it's like how do I like, boy, it's really it's amazing how this house is like still kept neat and everything, you know, right? How there's stuff in this house. Right? Yeah. Wow, well, well, I can't believe it's it's, it's, as, it's as if somebody's been keep taking care of it, and he's just I mean, yeah. It's like they're weirdly neat. Boy. Yeah, and then Nakamaru shows right, up and goes, like, no spider What the fuck are you guys in my house? Get out of my house! Why are you in my house? Right? There's definitely not anything going on. Get out of my house. Yeah. Please. Um. Also, there's a full fucking, like, restaurant kitchen and shit. Anyways. Oh, you know, there's literally a ball behind house. them, right? Yeah. This is, like I said, it's, the, it's a beach house. Yeah. That, this kid's, that their parents use. But yeah. they use it as a storage. Yeah. But why is it so fucking, like, stocked? Doggy. Look. Every so often. Somebody's been smoking blunts in there. Maybe it's just the mist also, of, off the sea. He um, kept mug with lady lipstick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and then it and then it turns out that oh no. I see what you There's a girl to. here. It's the girl mm -hmm. from the bus. And she threw the lipstick at me. And I thought that we had something special. But the thing is, you'll find out that's not like I personally don't like her eyebrows, that might be rude. Um, but also, just walks up to the fucking curtain and goes, Hey, you're here, right? And then it's like, oh yeah. no, this is awkward. Oh, yeah. that's, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, right? It's like, it's like, right? It's like, uh, it's like the worst part is, is how he just does it, right? He does it, right? He just straight up pulls it, right? Like, imagine she was, like, changing or something, right? Right? And, like, that's like, what I moment. thought was gonna happen. Like, as soon as he started walking over there, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be awkward. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I was just nope. assuming she yeah, was going to be topless. Yeah, and then everyone's silent, but... right? And then, uh, what's, what, what's, what's the, who's the guy that owns his beach house names? Uh, Nakamaru. And Nakamaru's like, what's going on here? What's with this fucking anime moment happening <laughs> right now, right? Yeah. You guys just literally just break into my house, say that the band's back together, fucking hero just fucking, uh, oh, goes around, you guys literally just break them and started snooping. You know, when your friend right? just walks in and starts opening shit? Yeah. It's crazy what's going on. This this sequence of events actually insane if you think about it, right? Right. Bro, how did these? How did Hero and fucking um? Was it uh? Kota. Right? Sota. Was, yeah, Sota. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Breaks so, in. Right. Like like they didn't even have the keys. Did they just took a rock, broke the glass to enter this? House? I'm gonna assume that no. no Nakamaru. Nakamaru clearly doesn't know how, like how to keep things secure. This is clearly mm -hmm. like a fairly rural house. And or secure. I mean, this whole city is very rural. So, nobody I mean, to be fair, doors. we do get we do get a pan out. Like, right? Yeah, we get a pan out almost house every is, like, episode. On a hill. Yeah, well, this right? whole it's not only that the house is on a hill, but like the whole town mm -hmm. is like inland on from like in the mountains that reach out. Like the only but access they keep to walking the... to the convenience store, like it's fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's right? because there's only so many things there. Right. Also, the right. Westport is now. That I think. Of, how did I? Like, 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 we clearly see that this house is on a hill, right? Yeah. What was their, their, their sense of direction to walk up this hill to get home after that tournament, right? Because I assume they took their tournament battle in, in like, probably, like, probably, like, downtown, right? In, in, like, some random fucking bar. Oh, man, Austin died right? for and a then, second. And then after they lost, like, damn, we lost, good. All right, let's walk home words. by going up the hill, Sir. right? And, like, and then along the way, like, hey, is that the house we used to hang out as a kid? How convenient for us to get here, right? It's this <laughs> chain of events is actually. Oh, you know what? Think about Hold it. on. Right, you know what? It does seem like they're you know kind what? of just like aimlessly like trying to walk home. I like, hey, the house. I oh. didn't piece together that that was directly following it because I didn't realize that they were wearing the same clothes. I thought that this was another day. Uh, no, this is only after the tournament. Yep. Yep. That. 
That is absolutely correct. This is afterward. That this is sequence, absolutely this correct. This sequence event is actually insane, right? It's like if me and Trick were to go to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, right? In, in our local Yu-Gi-Oh spot. And then after the tournament, like, all right, Trick, let's go home. And then we're somehow in, in like, fucking, um, fuck, uh, what's the most countryside of Maryland for us? Damascus? Or some yeah. shit, right? Right, everyone like, yeah, everyone that's pretty like, hey, good. Tariq, just let's go to that house, right? That's how insane the sequence. But the difference is, the difference is so that we were already, we'd already be in Damascus. I mean, this would be like walking mm -hmm. from Chekhov's to somebody else's house. Yeah, to an extent. This, this just reminds so me sad. of like you guys finishing a tournament, and going like, let's go to MC. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good comparison. Yeah. yeah, why is this so? Wow, it's it's just like we oh, left shit. it. It's just like we left it, and then a security guard shows up and goes, what "The fuck are you doing? It's a Sunday." Like right? it just feels like you guys just like afterwards just like be like, "Let's let's go to MC." Okay. Maybe. Oh, oh, shit, no, that's what? the thing. That, that's the thing. These people. No, we're they here. Found it's house. fine. <laughs> We belong this is like here. If me and Tariq finished playing Yu Gi Oh, then we said, hey, Tariq, let's walk home, right? And then along the way, as we're walking, hey, is that MC? Let's go visit, right? Because these, it's always that, it's always that, uh, uh, that, that, that hero in Shelter weren't, weren't purposely walking towards this house. They just were walking randomly and they found, uh, and yeah. they found this house. And they were right? like, oh, like, hey, we used to hang out there. Insane. Hold on, I just, what I just, were they doing? hold on, I just gotta, it's hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, like, I just wanna, I just when wanna, when you're walking past, like, a park that used to hang out, and I just gotta, and you just go, hey, I just gotta that do was something that really park. quick, I just gotta but do something really with, quick, okay, okay, like, um, oh, that's that shit, all right, I'm ready. hey, let's go to that park, <laughs> yeah, all right, that's how oh. this episode ends, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, according to, According to Google, it would take us an hour and thirty-five minutes to walk not from not from Dream Wizards to the Silver Spring campus, but from Dream Wizards to the Rockville campus, which would be which would be the only reasonable assumption. If it was to the fucking uh, if it was to the Silver Spring campus, it would be do do do. Two and a half hours. Okay. Right. So yeah, in yeah, theory, you could do that. It's completely insane. Half. Yeah. I don't understand the sequence of events that happened. Yeah. You clearly right? have to be walking a certain direction to get here. Yeah. Yeah. And then the worst was they just how they ran away. All right. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Like, oh, the boy, there's a girl. Do fun. girls like Gundam? Ooh, What's you'll find on? out in two episodes. Oh, that's right. Girls, don't Girls like can't like Gundams. That's stupid. Ooh, wait until episode three. As the resident female, which is a girl. Mm -hmm. Molly, do you like Gundams? <laughs> um, like, uh. <laughs> well, like. Mm, remember, uh, remember, there's a divorce on the line if you. depending on your answer. Huh? Um, so, like. All right, so I'm gonna I, start I working on that prenup, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So, Tori, guys, is this is this clearly your series? Uh, you want to sign us out? You want to sign us out? Since you don't want to be in charge of this series. Yes, I am. I am the Gundam man. I am the one right. who Gundams. Yes, you are. I am Gundam, just like yep. Setsuna F. Saya. Yep. Say it. I am Gundam. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. But which Gundam? Oh, is that the outro? Is that yeah, no, is? no. Well, <laughs> hey, no. The the outro is hey. Hey, you listen. Me. People in Gundam would get a shot. You should get one too. Get your shots. K thinks I am Gundam. <laughs>